Maryland governor has now provided early details of how the administration plans to clean up wreckage after a cargo ship hit a major bridge in the state. Well, uh, he said that they have a very long road ahead of them. Meanwhile, Biden, uh, the American president, has approved $60 million in aid after a Baltimore bridge collapsed. Well, the Maryland governor responded to these statements, saying that the state is deeply grateful for the federal funds. Brian Thomas is uh, back with us on the broadcast. Uh, Brian, uh, uh, how is... Uh, now, how is the attempts being made to rebuild the Baltimore Bridge? Uh, well, Uday, uh, now the Biden administration has allocated $60 uh, dollar a million in um, you know, emergency funding to be aid, uh, aid the cleanup and even the reconstruction efforts following the very tragic uh, collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. And responding to the very request from the Maryland Department of Transportation, the Federal Highway, uh, administration also very promptly released these very quick release funds to expedite the very rebuilding process today. And even pre President Biden's directive to move heaven and earth to restore the bridge, uh, which was uttered earlier on the week also, set the tone for the immediate action that was taken and the collapse that was caused by a cargo collision on uh, Tuesday, prompted this very urgent response from the administration and even in the in a very statement also, the U.S. Transportation Secretary uh, Pete Bu um, Buttigieg also you know, express the gravity of the situation, emphasizing the need for a swift action and federal support in the wake of the tragedy. And then the emergency funds were also intended to jumpstart Maryland's critical repair efforts uh, with further resources as pledged as the recovery and reconstruction uh, progress. And meanwhile, also Maryland, Maryland Governor Wies Mure also has cautioned that the road to recovery will be uh, harder, uh, particularly as experts grapple with the challenge of safely removing the Singapore flag Dali from the tangled uh, wreckage and the immense size of the vessel also comparatively to the Eiffel Tower adds a very layer of complex to the operation also even though yes the recovery uh, Brian stay with us Colonel J.S. Sudi international affairs expert also joins us now live uh, Colonel Sudi uh, uh, clearly of course uh, uh, it there will need to be a cooperation between the state and, and uh, center and the United States for the rebuilding of this bridge isn't it Jain Dudai it's my honor to be on a news channel. Well, after the catastrophic incident of the collapse of the Baltimore Bridge, the U.S. federal authorities and the state authorities have been at an utmost high of co cooperating with each other. And President Joe Biden's decision to approve 60 million uh, U.S. dollars for the reconstruction of this bridge is indeed a welcome step. Also at stake are the jobs of about 3,000 people directly uh, who were dependent on the living for the ships that were coming to this area. And now, because of some time, no ship movement will take place. You know, they are facing a uh, prospect of un un unemployment. So the federal and the state authorities are doing uh, their very best to ensure that no one suffers. In fact, the U.S. Uh, government authorities have been very gracious in applauding the role of the 21 Indians aboard the ship and saying that they really, you know, uh, displayed good presence of mind, which, uh, uh, which avoided uh, greater casualties of humans. So I think overall it is a good sign that is emerging out of the good cooperation between the U.S. federal authorities and the state authorities. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.